My name is Dasha and I'm a Breakthrough Beats artist. The music I make is all about the songwriting and so the production and the instruments around it kind of fall in place after that's, you know, set the tone. I write my songs all either on piano or guitar and then we kind of produce around it. And that's what kind of got me into songwriting in the first place was the storytelling. I was obsessed with it. I thought it was the coolest thing when you could, when you could hear lyrics and see it in your head like a movie. Um, but my sound is, I mean, it's, it's country with the banjo and the fiddle and I love like harmonica and mandolin and those like the really rootsy instruments of country music, that, that's what really inspires the sound of everything. Dasha's story began, um, I think honestly what prompted my first song was I'm a Pisces and I have, I, I had so many crushes on every boy ever when I was a kid. I was so dramatic. I loved being on stage for musical theater performances. Like I was begging my parents to put me in like 10 shows a year. Like I was in it, you know? Um, and I think it was like one of my first crushes who like got a song out of me and I was like, oh, this is fun. Like I get to write poetry about this boy I'm obsessed with, like let's go. Um, and so I think that's kind of what started it, which is so funny and I'm like, Dasha, why? Um, but, and then my, I started writing songs a lot and then my dad was the one that was like, whoa, what is, what's going on over here? And started booking me shows and gigs and cause I was expressing so much interest in performing these original songs I was writing out for the public. So, and then in high school, I just kept writing throughout elementary school. I released my first song when I was 13 um, on Spotify. Everything was my birthday present for my dad to like, get it professionally recorded. Um, and then from there on, I just like kept going. Because as an artist and having your sound, it's so much harder to get there than you would think. Like, it's so weird making something outside yourself that has to represent who you are and your thoughts and your feelings. And also like in your young 20s, you're changing so much. So the music I was making a year or two years ago is so different than from what I'm doing now. Right. My first co-writer was my brother Bardo. Um, he's three years older than me and he was more into production and he was in rock bands growing up and so he would start writing with his band and I was like, oh, I want to write with people. So I would write with him and I would write a song or he would help me write a song and then he'd produce it out and then he'd like do a beat, some EDM beat and then I'd top line it. And we had this like really cool dynamic growing up where we just learned off of each other. Cause like we were kids, we didn't know what we were doing obviously, but it was really wonderful to have a situation where we could just explore. And I feel like my artistic journey started at such a young age. And that's why at 24, like I know exactly who I am as an artist and finally, with my country music and what happens now my album, I've landed on a sound that I can confidently say like, oh, that is so me. Like this music is so me. And I'm yes. very happy about that. I mean, that whole week playing Nissan Stadium for CMA Fest and then playing the Grand Ole Opry within a week of each other was kind of insane. Oh, and then not to mention after I played the Nissan Stadium, we sprinted over to Spotify house and I sang with Keith Urban. So that whole, situation there was like what the hell is going on because like back in January I had a hundred thousand monthly listeners you know I'd been grinding it out for years for years and years and you know I, I started my fan base I had listeners but it was nothing crazy at all and for it to just peak this crazy with a song like a song can really change your life and I mean this past week has just proven it yes. <laughs> yeah yeah my short list right now would include Post Malone um, I think I would personally be a great opener for his tour, for his new country tour, just saying. Um, cause I, just, I mean, he as a human is so kind. I got to meet him at the ACM Awards and we got to hang out a little bit. And him going country is like so exciting to me because I can tell how genuine it is for him. Um, and there's a lot of people going country and I can tell a lot of it is not genuine. It's just like, oh, this is working, let's go country. But for him, I'm like, no, you actually get it. You, you get the culture of it. Um, Casey Musgraves. Love her so much. She's one of the reasons that I got into songwriting in the first place. Just, I mean, her lyrics, you can see them in your head like a movie, like what I was talking about. Um, Miranda Lambert, Lainey Wilson, I've gotten to know her pretty well. She's amazing. There's just been a lot of people that um, have reached out, like Jelly Roll, who have just been like so supportive and excited and with open arms for, for this whole country world. And I can't even tell you how much it means. I mean, what's next? Um, you know, I try to plan ahead, but also at the same time, 
life has its way of being very mysterious and things just turning on a whim. And so I think the best way to live is just kind of letting it take you where it needs to go, especially with this rocket ship I'm on right now. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. This is all new to me and I'm just doing my best and having fun with it. Um, but what's next is my deluxe version of what happens now. We're adding five new songs to the album and the track list of the album is very intentional. So the songs we're adding kind of rounds out that story. The whole album's about the same person. I'll, I'll give it to you straight up. Um, yeah, you're growing through something and uh, we had a lot to write about. <laughs> so um, it kind of just like ties the whole story in a bow and I'm really, really proud of these songs. Like, wrote them with a bunch of like incredible Nashville songwriters and it's just been so fun kind of stretching my songwriting ability um, in these past few weeks and months and yeah, it's gonna be good. Can't wait. <laughs> I love that. And then I know you're heading on tour. Yeah, headlining awesome. tour, first one. First headlining tour? Sold out already, crazy in the first day. <laughs> Okay, my mom's an architect and she's so good at drawing. I don't know what happened to my brain. Okay, here we go. So this is the Mid-State Fair I grew up going to. It's called the California Mid-State Fair. It's in Paso Robles. And um, last year I saw uh, Luke Bryan headline it and kick it off on the last night. And the energy from this fair and these shows are so fun. And this is just like, obviously I wanna sell international stadiums and I wanna win a Grammy and all that shit. But this is one specific goal. Um, yeah, I want to sell out the last night of the mid State Fair. Um, and these are people line dancing. These are people two-stepping. And I want it to be like a big mosh pit of people. These are people mosh pitting here. Um, and then these are the stands. I love it. It's perfect. Scary. Manifestation. <laughs>